Hi, um, so welcome to my session Mirror Manager in CentOS 3.9. Mirror Manager is a tool that's been used in Fedora for a long time um, to manage mirrors and get you the best mirror, hopefully. And since CentOS 3.9, um, also it's, it's, it's responsible for getting you a CentOS 3.9 mirror. Um, so just a bit about myself. So I'm actually running a mirror server for a very long time at this point. And that's why I'm interested in mirrors for some reason. Um, I'm involved in Fedora for a long time. And for Fedora US over 20 years ago, I actually also wrote a mirror managing system. It was never deployed and it was bad, but so I'm <laughs> for some reason interested in this and I'm involved in in, in Fedora's mirror manager uh, since about 2008, I wrote the first patches. In around 2016, I became the main point of contact for mirror manager in Fedora and upstream. I work at a red, in the Red Hat core kernel team, mostly on checkpoint restore and containers, but mirror manager is something completely different from that. So um, the agenda for today is, um, a few questions I want to answer is, what is Mirror Manager? Um, so why do we deploy it in Fedora, Apple, and CentOS Stream? And who uses Mirror Manager? Just a couple of the users who are currently using it. And how does Mirror Manager work from, from the point of view of DNF install update? What happens? Um, how do you get your RPMs with the help of Mirror Manager on your system? And then some numbers. Um, I we extract from, from Mirror Manager uh, log files. So what is Mirror Manager? Mirror Manager is a tool which tries to find the best mirror for you. The best mirror is a mirror which is hopefully up to date and a mirror which is close to you from, from the net per network point of view. And, and we do this by, by looking on your, at your IP address and based on the IP address, Mirror Manager tries to create a list of mirrors, which are hopefully the best mirrors for you, or pretty good at least. So the first thing Mirror Manager does when it gets your IP, it, it looks at net blocks. So um, Mirror Manager, th there are a couple of systems which people implemented over the years who help maintaining mirrors. And Mirror Manager is one of the few, I think, which have a self-service interface. So if you want to provide a mirror for Fedora, Apple, or CentOS Stream, you can create it in Mirror Manager in the instance for, from Fedora. And then you can configure a few things. And one of the things you can configure is you can say, I'm responsible for those net blocks. So my mirror is in this network and the networks around it are also really close and probably have a good connection to, to my mirror. So mirror manager will look, if, is there a mirror in one of the net blocks close to you? And if it is, it will put this mirror on the top of the list of good mirrors. Then the next, next thing um, a mirror manager does is um, it knows about private mirrors. So um, a private mirror is a mirror which is maybe behind a firewall, but a private mirror is a mirror where you do not want, or where the mirror administrator doesn't want anyone from outside of the organization um, that people use that mirror. So you can mark your mirror as private, and if you're a university or a company and the mirror is behind a firewall, then your local users will be directed to this private mirror, but nobody else. Uh, Special thing about private mirrors is that we do not check private mirrors um, to see if they're up to date because the assumption from our side is we probably cannot reach it. So it's up to the maintainer of the private mirror to ensure that it's up to date and mirror manager will believe that it's up to date. So once we looked at net blocks and private mirrors, we will look at the ASN, the autonomous system number from your network, and we will look, is there a mirror in the same ASN? Is there a mirror maybe in one of the neighboring ASNs? So if it is, then we will give you also some mirrors from, from those ASNs. 
Then what we still do is, is Internet 2. So Internet 2 used to be, or maybe still is, the um, research network in North America. In Europe, it, it's called Geant. And they used to publish uh, routing, routing tables. So we could find, figure out, is your IP part of Internet 2 or not? But uh, this has stopped. So the plan is to stop um, suggesting a mirror based on Internet 2 routing tables. So currently, this is still working. We're using old routing tables, but um, this will disappear soon. So once we have done those steps, um, NetBlock, ASN, um, Internet 2, then we will look at the country you or your IP address is based in, and then we will add mirrors in the same country. We will add mirrors in the same continent to the list of best mirrors for you. And then the last step is we might add global mirrors. So global mirrors are the primary mirror or the central stream has a, has a cloud front cache. And if the number of mirrors in the previous step is below five, then you will get the global mirrors also as, as a result. And the idea is just to give you a minimum number of mirrors where the DNF can find at least one working mirror if for some reason you get a mirror which is not up to date. Then with all this information, we randomize the net blocks and order by prefix size. For the other, all the other cases, we do a weighted shuffle by bandwidth. So each time you ask for a mirror, you get a new answer, but we try to put high bandwidth mirrors higher on the list. So uh, the load is distributed, but you, the chances that you are redirected to a fast mirrors are, are, are higher than to a low bandwidth mirror, but low bandwidth mirrors are also included there. And then you get a list and then can DNF can select one of the mirrors and download the packages for you. So who uses mirror manager? Mm. Fedora and Apple uses it since 2007, and, and it, it was originally implemented by, by Matt Domsch in 2007, and the core concepts have not really changed since then. Parts have been rewritten uh, once or twice, but it's all, it consists of the same components as in, as in 2007. RPM Fusion uses Mirror Manager, Rocky Linux uses Mirror Manager, as far as I'm, I know, and um, since CentOS Stream 9, also CentOS Stream 9 uses it. Um, for CentOS Stream 9, we didn't do a new installation of the whole system, we just extended the existing configuration files to also look at CentOS Stream 9 primary and Mirror and, and all the mirrors who are registering for it. So how does Mirror Manager work? What happens during DNF install? So for, for DNF's point of view, uh, Mirror Manager has two interfaces. Uh, the one is, is MirrorList. This is just a simple uh, file or simple answer with a list of mirrors. And as far as I know, um, Rocky Linux uses this interface. And the other one, which is used by uh, Fedora, Apple, and CentOS Stream 9 is, is the MetaLink interface. And the MetaLink interface tries to provide a way how RPMs get verified. There's a verified way how RPMs get from the first request um, to your system with each step being verified by the previous step. This only works if you trust DNS and HTTPS. But if you do, there is a kind of a chain with um, checksums from start to, to end. So this is uh, something which um, DNF uh, will, will use for, for CentOS Stream 9. This is the base repository, and it's about a, a meta link it wants to download, and it's for the architecture x86-64. And then Mirror Manager will do in the background steps I've just described here uh, before. And then you will get a list which looks something like this. And so this tells DNF it's about a file called repo MD XML. You get a number of checksums the file should have. And in addition to the file name and the checksums, you get a list of mirrors where DNF should try to download 
this file from. So will DNF will go to the first, or I, actually I don't know how DNF works, but this is my assumption. It will go from top to the bottom of the list. It will download the first repo MD XML file, check the checksum again against the, the one given in the meta link. And if it matches, then um, DNF will use that mirror from for, for that trans transaction. In repo MD XML, if it matches the check, checksum, there, is a, there are pointers to other files also with checksums. So DNF can go and download this additional repository metadata, verify against the checksums in repo MD XML. And if this matches, then it can download the actual RPM, install it in your system. The RPM is usually it's signed. And so from the first download of the meta link to the installation of the signed RPM, there's kind of a way uh, how you get each step verified by the previous step. So um, I have some numbers about uh, the Fedora instance of uh, Mirror Manager combined with Apple and Center Stream. So currently we have in the database over 1,200 mirrors. This includes private mirrors, this includes disabled mirrors, inactive mirrors, everything. Each mirror can decide if it only wants to do Fedora or Apple or Center Stream. So um, you, from, from this number, you don't know how many mirrors each project has, but this is just the overall number. We create a, a map where the mirrors are located. And um, currently, a mirror manager uh, answers to about 64 million requests per day. So 64 million times per day, we get a request. I want to have a mirror list. And um, from, from these numbers, from these raw numbers, unfiltered, we create a couple of um, diagrams. One diagram is, this is by country, from where are all the requests coming. And then we have a diagram by uh, by repository, so which repositories are the people um, looking for? Then we have a diagram by um, architecture, so it's clearly only x86-64, what most people are interested in. But this year it's the first time that uh, you actually see something else on this diagram before. It was only x86-64. Um, and with this slide, I'm already at the end. I try to be fast. Um, so if there are any questions, I'm happy to answer about Mirror Manager, Center Stream 9, and Fedora. Uh, on the chat, there's a question. Would the best mirror also include archive repos? Archive repos are from, I guess, archived <laughs> uh, uh, distributions, Fedora 33. Three and older and things like this. If this is the question, then yes, yeah. Okay. We we track. Uh, so so this is a Fedora questions mainly. We have uh, the um, a main um, um, main mirror module for um, currently active um, distributions. Fedora up to Fedora thirty five, I think, is still on the main mirror. And all the versions are then moved to the archive, and then Mirror Manager points to the archive mirrors. And the number of archive mirrors is, is really small compared to the number of um, mirrors carrying the list of acti uh, the active distributions or the maintained. Right, so um, one of the observations that I made while using DNF update or DNF install is that um, the geographically closest location is the one that's kind of given the priority first. Uh, for me, it becomes the mirrors in Japan. So what happens is the latency is less, but then again, there are times when the latency is less, but the speed is uh, suboptimal. So uh, is there a system in place that kind of, uh, you know, chooses between what should be given a priority? be it geographical location, latency, download speeds, something that lets you decide that. So, so latency and download speeds are not part of Mirror Manager. We cannot measure them because they're only from your point of view. So we only do what data we have in the database. And this is basically um, net blocks. If somebody says your IP is close to my mirror, then we know that. And then it's ASNs. 
and then it's country. If there's a mirror in your country, you hopefully get that one. And if there's no mirror in your country, we try to um, uh, add lists from, from the same continent. So uh, not sure where you're located. So maybe, um, I don't know, there's, there's not a close mirror to you, which mirror manager can select for, for you. So it's down to our DNF to actually decide which mirror they reach out to and uh, the balance between speeds and latencies, right? Again? Uh, it's down to a DNF, which, uh, you know, the choice it is to select which mirror no, to go no, to. Usually DNF doesn't select by latency mm -hmm. or speed. There is the fastest mirror plugin, but you shouldn't use it because no, it's, uh, to yeah, it's totally it breaks a uh, mirror manager. Exactly. Yeah, understood. Thanks. Any more? Yep. Um, question. Is... Um, you are agnostic about the use of DNF uh, max connections or like uh, having a threshold because there is some discussion ongoing about uh, using a, you know, like uh, 10 threads or something like that. Uh, do you have something to say about that? <laughs> so it's um, the, the DNF maximum number of connections which DNF makes. So um, it's an interesting question because we I don't know if it's it's if it's visible here. No, it's not. So, or is it here? Yeah. So there's actually here we have this max connections here, but this is hard coded to one, so we don't do this. We used to have a field in Mirror Manager where you could set it, but it was actually. I, I, I don't know the history about it. It was set. It was hard coded to one before I took it over. And my, from what I learned about it, that it's it's not working as it's supposed to. I don't know what if DNF looks at this or anything else, and if there's something which can use this, we can definitely change it to use the number the the mirror provides. But I think I don't know DNF max connections. It's probably how many connections DNF makes to one mirror or to multiple mirrors. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. No. I. No idea, really. Okay, but it's something you are not uh, discouraging to 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 do from from a client perspective, or no? Uh, so so from so from my point of view, I'm I'm ha I have a, I have a mirror, and I'm happy to have as many connections as people want to make to it because bandwidth, at least for from from my mirror, is not a problem, and usually a number of connections as well distributed my amongst so many mirrors, it's also not a problem. So if people feel like they want to increase it, from mirror manager's view, I don't have any opinion on it. From a view of a mirror maintainer, I'm okay with it, so. Thank you. Anything else? Okay, thank you.